Hungry for adventure, we hop on the boat from Lombok to Flores. We spend the next four days sailing and exploring new fascinating places with similarly minded people. Indonesia is full of natural beauty and I'm about to prove it. Indonesia is known for its strong sea currents. In fact, we struggled to get on the boat after the first snorkeling session. Exhausted, we went to bed early that night. Next morning, we arrived at Moyo Island, where we were going to hike to the waterfall. Good morning, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't make it for the sunrise because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. We already had breakfast and I'm feeling still sleepy. So, as you probably know, the best way to wake up is... Okay, it's lunch time. Let's go downstairs and see what's on the menu. Wait for me, Doya. Get some pieces of fish, some veggies, some rice. Poor babies, feeling a little bit seasick today, right? Tell my viewers that it's important to take um, anti sickness, motion sickness yeah. pills. The sea can be very rough. Yeah, sea can be pretty rough. Mm -hmm. Doya is a perfect example. But you'll be okay, yes? Mm -hmm. On the third day, we had finally reached our much anticipated destination. So, after 18 hours, we are finally here. We arrived on the Komodo Island and we're gonna go hiking. You can see the trail from here. Like, I hate this one because it can go wrong and I land on my nuts. Okay, welcome to Komodo. Belly flop! <laughs> It was a short hike to the top of the mountain, which was rewarded with some of the most incredible views I have ever seen. Hey Dad, so what's up next? We're gonna go to the Manta Point. So we just arrived at Manta Point and we're just looking out for them now. That's better. Okay, I think we found the place. Let's go. Snorkeling with mantas was quite good, however they were, I found actually two big ones and then one baby one and they were right at the bottom, like seven meters deep, so I wasn't able to dive so deep, I went maybe five meters, so I couldn't get really close, but it was, it was, it was fun. And now we are at the pink beach, the beach that you can see right behind me. Yeah, so apparently the snorkeling is pretty good here, but it's cold, the water is cold.
pink. This beach is actually pink. Not sure if you can see, but I think the reason why this pink, this beach um, looks pink is because there are like tiny, tiny red particles in the sand. On the last day, we arrived at Komodo National Park with the clear goal to finally see the dragons. Hike around the park is only possible with the ranger. No firearms are used as a protection against this prehistoric predator. Some footprints here of the Komodo dragon, which I guess we're going to follow. Uh, you just waiting here, so I try to check up there. Okay. We just stay here. You just stay here. The ranger with the stick in his hands was all we could rely on against a potential attack. So there was an incident of a guy from a Singapore who got attacked by a Komodo dragon. What the guide said that he basically decided to go on his own without, without the ranger and he got attacked and unfortunately he died he didn't make it to the hospital on time and he died so there are about a thousand species of Komodo dragons on the island it's also the mating season so it's not easy to spot one as they are busy waiting, looking for their mating partner then unexpectedly full-sized male Komodo dragon decided to go for a walk down the tourist path. Okay, so the dragon is coming our way. We all wished his stomach was full. My heart was beating out of my chest as this giant lizard was coming our way closer and closer. Lucky for us, he completely ignored us and carried on walking. As you probably know, Komodo dragons can be quite lethal. Um, they're just waiting for the prey to come close to them and then bite. And because they have a lot of bacteria living in their mouth, toxic bacteria, once, they get, once it gets into your bloodstream, you basically have hours to seek medical help, otherwise you can die. For a bigger animal, it can take up to 24 hours. So what they do is just, they don't, they just bite and they wait and they follow. They follow the animal until it collapses and then they just eat it. Our guide also revealed a very dark secret of the reptiles. So normally, so when they put their eggs, they dig into mini hole, yeah? So we never know, so where the real hole they put their eggs, yeah? All the hole, just camouflage hole. So the Komodo dragons also, they're very smart to protect their eggs, mm. yeah? So for the female dragons, they just protect their eggs, not protect their baby, yeah? <laughs> they just protect their eggs, not protect their baby. So when the time hatching for the eggs, they come to eat against their baby. Uh, okay. yeah. For the baby, they have natural instinct. They go up, climb up the tree to protect themselves from their predators, <laughs> from their mother, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Finally, after four days of sailing, we've arrived on Flores Island and our journey has come to an end. Did we sleep okay? Hell no. Did we eat well? Definitely not. Was the trip worth it? 100%. Are you thinking about doing a similar trip in Southeast Asia? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe for more content from my travels. Now, I'm saying goodbye and I will see you in the next one.